What's up guys? The Auto Gamer here, back with our first look video. The series where I play a video game for the very first time. For your visual enjoyment. Today we're playing Age of Wonders 3 with the Eternal Lords DLC. That's the DLC that just came out, which includes two more races and one more... I think it's a Necromancer that you can play as well. Now, Age of Wonders 3 is a fantasy turn-based strategy game. In fact, it's the fourth... That's right, I said the fourth game in the Age of Wonders series. So we're going to take a look here. I don't really play a lot of strategy games, um, just in general, or on my channel. I used to play some Command & Conquer and stuff, but I'm just really not very good at them. But I still love playing them nonetheless, so we're going to try here. Of course, as always, click the annotation in the top left of the screen if you want to skip right to the gameplay, because we are going to take a look here at the menu options first. As First off, you'll see the DLC we have here is the Deluxe Edition as well as the Eternal Lords Expansion. I already said that. We can go to a new campaign, new scenario, new random map. Okay, let's start. I'm not quite sure what that does. I'm sure that's probably the campaign, but I'm not quite sure. For new players, we suggest playing the Elven Court campaign. I might just do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you can load a game, go to options, and then, of course, there's online multiplayer. And then you can also you know, do your different profile type stuff up here if you are so inclined. You have to register for a Triumph Studios account before you can play this. Just uh, letting you guys know. Let's take a look at the options menu here. Under gameplay, we have scroll speed. We also have auto save on and off. Save, auto save to the cloud or quick save to the cloud. I have those unchecked. Player movement animation. Display damage numbers, show end of turn confirmation, show confirm army movement events. Tactical combat introduction, tactical combat high camera view, tactical combat action camera, kill figures as units take damage, show unit corpse markers, and also show army banners. I don't know what half this stuff does, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we play. You can also restore, uh, restore defaults if you want. Under graphics, we have windowed, borderless, and full screen modes here. You also have a whole bunch of different resolutions for you to mess around with. It actually came as default as 2715 by 1527, so which was interesting. But we're going to stick with 1920 by 1080. Of course, my monitor is 144 hertz, but if you have something else, this will cater to that as well. I have VSync on, which I actually might turn on. Yeah, I'm going to turn VSync off. Wait for GPU. Basically, um, it will wait for each frame to be processed by your GPU before going to the next one. They say that it'll fix any overheating issues. I have a water cooler, so I don't think that's going to be an issue for me. Quality mode. You have low, medium, high, ultra, or custom. I put it on custom here, but that's just so we could look at these here. Low, medium, high, and ultra for our texture quality. Shadow quality. We have off, low, and high. Uh, ambient uh, occlusion, we have off, low, and high as well. Now, we just have check boxes for anti-aliasing. It doesn't say what kind, so not quite sure if that's like fast approximate anti-aliasing or MSAA or, or what, but you can turn it on and off if you want. Bloom, reflections, and soft particles as well. Now, under audio, we have a master slider. Music, effects, ambient speech, units, events, and interface sliders. It's really nice to see you can customize all of these to your liking. Um, I just turned the music down a little bit here. Really good to see that. That's that's always nice to see. Usually it's master, like master and music. But anyways, and then there's also fully rebindable controls, which is really great to see as well. Right. All right, let's get started. We're going to go here to a new campaign. Now this one, the Necromancer campaign, is the one that comes with this expansion pack. However, it is for ex experienced players, which I am not. We're going to try it anyways and just see how long we can last here. I am, however, going to skip over all of this lore and stuff here because, honestly, um, this video is going to be long enough as it is. So... Um, if you want to know more about the campaigns and the lore and everything, which there's a lot of it, then I would uh, I would go pick it up for yourself and, and, and figure it out. So we're playing as Arvik the Dark. He's a Frostling Necromancer. Alrighty here. Looks like... 
You start this blood trail to find an honorable death, but death has already found you and favors you. Animate the ruins of your capital here and you will see that death isn't the end. I'll be watching your progress from beyond the shadows. Melanus. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. We got some mining stuff over here. Casting crystal, alright. We have this army which has two frostling mammoth riders in it. What else do we have? Trading post. Alright. And I think that's it. And then of course our guy here, which has a banshee, a ghoul, uh, another ghoul, a third ghoul. They're different kinds though. And the lost soul. Alright, so let's... Oh, this is our guy here. Alright, so let's start heading down this way. I don't really know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, but we can start heading down this way because it looks like this is where we want to end up. So we're going to start heading this way and we're also going to pick something to research. What do we want? Uh, summons a lost soul. Dark ritual. Plundering. We're going to go with necromancy one since we're a necromancer. And you have found 64 or something or others. All right, let's let's uh, let's start heading in the right direction. What happens if I go here? Magma Forge, nothing. All right, let's let's head this way. And unfortunately, we don't really want to go first because if this guy dies, it's game over for us. However, I think that's about as good as we can do. So these guys, are, we're gonna wait to the next turn here. Should we try casting a spell? What do we got? Animate ruins. City Enhancement, Strategic Spell, Instant Spell, Corrupt the Source. We also have Whispers of the Fallen. And we also have Summon Hellhound. That one sounds the best. We're going to do that. All right. And we're going to summon, summon it here. Yes. So we have we have this Hellhound. And we're going to grab some gold. Oh, we found, we found a guy. What do you got here? Army of three. Don't know if I should take him on with just my Hellhound, so we're gonna come back. We're gonna go to here. And we're gonna kinda stack in front of our guy as much as possible here. And here. You're not our guy. Okay. So, uh, I really wanna kill this guy here. Is there anyone that can reach him? You can't. Nobody can, and I don't wanna get too close because he's gonna attack. So we're going to end our turn and see what happens. A new day dawns, all right. This guy's gonna attack, oh, no. Mammoth is just roaming around, roaming around. Just wanted to say hi, say hey, what are you guys up to? But what do you got? You have half elf, or high elf scoundrel, dwarf scoundrel, and dwarf scoundrel. We're gonna attack you with this guy here. They're trying to flee, what do you do? No mercy, obviously and auto combat because I'm too lazy. Ooh, one guy died, this guy's almost dead, but we won, so. We get a halfling adventurer, a fell horse, and 68 gold. That, no, these are worth 68 gold. What do you do? You know, we're gonna take the reward because we can use more people. You can join up with these forces here. All right. Do we want to come? We can attack. We can't quite attack this guy. What are you? Ooh, you've got a lot. Probably don't want to attack you with just that one guy. We're going to combine you two together and combine you with this guy and head down here. All right, let's attack. Closely matched. Cast spell. Yeah, let's, uh, all right, let's go for it. All right, we, we barely won here. Our guy is very wounded and we have our Hellhound, but we won. So we got uh, epic un or usable item and some gold. We'll take the reward here. So let's see. I don't know what you do. So for now, we're just gonna put you here. What else we got? We have a black wand. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So you're you're wounded. Is there any any spell that I can do to, not really. Corrupt the source. Transforms a non-occupied great farm to a corrupted farm. Oh, that doesn't do us any good right now. Ooh, what's that? It's like a shiny thing in the middle of the sea. I don't know. Whispers of the Fallen. 
Battles fought with 16 hexes on your cities and become visible. The spell doesn't affect vassal cities. See, I don't really know what a lot of these do. So, you know, it's, you know, it's kinda, I, you know, I, I have no clue if this is a good thing or not to do. If we could like uh, take over this mammoth and use him as our own, that would be great. What do you got? Some bone collectors and some bone wervins. I don't think we should attack you with you, but we probably can attack you with this guy. Do you want to do that? That's a great farm. We could cast our spell on that. Okay, so we're going to attack this guy with this group here. Ooh, we found some things. Closely matched. I don't know what manual combat does, but we're going to do auto. We got an achievement for that. We won another battle. And we lost a lot of people. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. You're going to come over here. Um, we're going to abort this spell. Yes. And we are going to try this one. On this farm. Can we do that? Alright, we have to... Oh, we have to wait three turns. Okay. To wait three turns. We could attack this guy. I don't know what that would do, though. What is this? What is this thing? Water node. Explore treasure site. We can't quite make it. We're gonna get close, though. Oh, we can't make it through here anyways. All right. So this is the guy we're supposed to attack. We're getting close. We're getting close. Is there anything that we can do up here? Hmm, trading post. I don't really see anything. There's some haste berries over there. You know what? There's some more stuff over here. We're gonna explore a little bit because it looks like there's some more stuff to do. So, you are going to come over here. And over here. And do you have any more stuff on you? No, you're, you're done. All right, so we're going to end our turn here. A new day dawns. Excellent. Where do we want you to go? You're coming up here with us. I'm going to come up to here as well. Oh, there we go. All right. So, so far, I'm actually really impressed with the graphics in this game. Very, very detailed. It's hard for you to see. I can definitely see it on my screen here. Very detailed. Looks very nice. Um, you spot a makeshift camp. Clear skies to you, Lord. Forgive us for hunting your mammoths. We have to feed our people. Are you building a clan? Would you be willing to offer us a home? Yeah, come, come work for us. You must know the population of dead cities will not grow without effort. You must build unique city upgrades like the Harvester's Guild in order for dead cities to grow. Additionally, when you win a battle... Okay, I'm done with that. Alright, so we got we got some more, some more guys. Let's, uh, let's clump you guys all up with our guy. There we go. Alright, we're, we're looking a little bit better here. What are you? You're a camp... Let's, uh, let's head over here. This looks like another city. Fertile Plains. Can we... Has been raised. Okay, so this was a city. And it's been burnt down to the ground. There's a gold mine here. I don't know how to build stuff here, though. Can we build stuff? Animate ruins. All right. So, oh, there's a lot of ice up here. Huh. Alright. Well, let's let's keep looking around. Let's keep looking around. You, sir, have no more turns left. Alright. How about you? Do you have turns left? Do you, you have turns left, though. You can come to here. Alright. And with that, I believe we're done with this round. Yes. All right, so we can corrupt the source of this farm. Where did that farm go? It's down here. You, corrupt the source. How? I don't understand. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. Let's see. You're going to come back over here. 
And we found some more stuff. Independent party. Can I recruit them? I don't want to fight them. I just want to recruit them. Let's abort that attack for now. Well, that looks like about all we can do. So we might as well head down and try and attack, you know, all the people down here. You can come this way. I believe that's all of our units. Yes, it is. So you're going to go to here, to another raised city. And we're going to, we're going to, let's see. I don't want to. All right, we're going to, we're going to end this here. I'm, I'm a little bit confused, but I'm still having fun with it nonetheless. I'd like to understand more about how this game is supposed to be played. Uh, did that guy, did that just join us? The mammoth is sitting on top of us. Move, mammoth. Ooh, we can look at stuff. Oh. That's interesting. We can look at all their skills and everything. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to send you as a raid party in here. If you go against them, you're going to die. These are the Plains of Grief. Many died here during the war against the Commonwealth, and it seems a mindless lich has been active here not too long. You should destroy his circle and boneyard and add power of his tower to yours. So I want to destroy stuff, apparently. I feel like our only course of option would be... That's a tent. Haste berries. Well, we're going to attack these guys, I guess. Very likely defeat. All right, we're going to run. <coughs> Sorry about that. We're going to run to here. This guy is going to come down and meet us. There you are. How far can you go? You can go to here. All right. And that looks like all we can do. So we're going to close our turn here. Yes. You go to the farm, and maybe we have to be on the farm in order to, to do that. So let's try it out. Ready to cast. Uh, I guess not. In that case, I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to do. We're going to board it, and with that, we are going to cast another... We can't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we're going to come this way. What can you do? Is there anything you can do? Select a skill to research. I guess we should. Uh, that sounds great. Let's do that one. All right. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Here we go. Greetings, Arvik the Clan Varahelm. My name is Rowler, and I am hero here to warn your people that Tigrans of the Cult of Yaka are invading Briska. I believe they intend to use it as a staging ground for attacking the melting this frozen realm. You are a Tigran. It has been a long time since we've heard of your race. Why do you betray your own people for us Frostlings? And why come to me? You should present your information to the High Quinn. I have already spoke to her. She has sent out scouts to verify my reports. I am to serve you in battle while we wait for them to return. My reasons for doing so are my own. Alright, that's, that's a lot of text. So we have one more. Oh, oh. Well. Let's uh let's go for it. They're probably gonna kill us. Yeah, they killed us. Oh no, we won. They won. Yeah, they did kill us. Okay, I was gonna say they're probably gonna kill us. Let's let's have this guy. That's not our guy. Where where's that Tigran guy? Here he is. You can come meet us down here. Cause I'm gonna use you. You, you should attack this guy. I think if we kill this guy, we win. All right, let's do it. We won. All right. Does that mean we win? Or do we have to attack other things first? All right, well, we'll stay here and we will cast Hellhound. We want the Hellhound here. Can we add it to ours? Yeah, we did. All right. Excellent. 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 
We are ready for the next turn. Let's kill the rest of these guys, and I think we're done. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this! We got this! All right. Oh, we lost. That's no good. Or they No, they lost, because they attacked us. Man, that's slightly confusing. All right, Tigran. How far can you come? We can come all the way to here. All right, join us. Join us in our quest for victory. All right. This guy's owned by us as well. You, can you add you? I can't. All right, we have six people here. We should be able to crush this guy. Oh, no, we can't. All right, next turn. Next turn. All right. Ooh, do I have it? I'm riding on a spider. I didn't even notice that. All right, let's let's kill these guys. Yep, we won. Excellent. Oh, we got a party kit. Yeah, let's take the party kit. Cause why not? What does this do? Those fireworks at an enemy unit. Huh. All right, let's let's throw some fireworks. I guess. All right, cool. And what else can we do? Let's grab that. And let's attack. And we should win. Probable victory. I bet we win. Yes, we won. All right. All right, excellent. We take the planes of grief completed. Leaving the undead here to grow in power would be unwise. I should destroy the circle and boneyard before they pose a problem. All right. Let's take that. I don't know what it does, but it's got to be good. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Spell magic. Oh, let's use it. Can we use it? Uh, so we need to destroy the boneyard. Alright. Oh! We can go underground now. Oh. Sneaky. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. That's an independent. Apparently we have to go through them. Uh, yeah, let's accept them. Yeah, if they want to join us, by all means, please do. All right, let's, uh, Sage Hut. Let's head all the way over to here. Look, there's a Sage Hut here. These so-called wise men study the races and their history. Learning their knowledge will help you to command a race to its full potential. The longer you govern a race, the better you can wield their power. Should we do that? Where's the sage hut? All right, cool. So we're, we're doing stuff now. Mm, yeah, we'll go here. Where does this lead to? <coughs> Who built these bridges? Maybe this explains why Southgate suddenly fell all those years ago. I need to investigate. You've captured a watchtower. All right, we have a watchtower now, guys. We have a watchtower. And we have this guy. Join us. Oh, only six allowed per army. All right. We should, we should, we can't. Okay, let's end our turn here. And then we're gonna cast another spell. No, we're not, because we can't. All right, we should do Necromancy 2. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna investigate. Fire node. All right. Cave exit. Oh, just slaughter these guys really quick. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. I thought, I thought we were done, but apparently we're not. Let's grab some gold. Is that gonna hurt? Oh, apparently you can run through fire, or lava rather. Magma? This is still under the earth, right? I guess it's magma. Can we go to here? Uh, let's, let's, yeah, we'll auto combat that. Yeah, we won. All right. So we're getting, we're getting somewhere now. We can, we can go to here. Wow, this is longer than I thought. Longer than I thought. That's all right. We, we can't cast anything yet. All right, next turn. Next turn. I'm probably, you know, I'm probably missing a lot of stuff. But that's all right. That's all right. Let's let's keep going up here. 
move up here. This guy will crush these guys. And you will grab the money, because money. Ooh, we can come over here. Yeah, let's attack this guy. Probable victory. That's a, that is a victory in my book. Oh no, we lost. Oh, uh, we got defeated. All right, well, I'm gonna keep playing this and try and figure it out. I'm actually very, very bad at it if you didn't, you know, notice. Let's view our statistics here, though. That's upward sloping here, I guess. Let's see where this guy here. So, but you know, wow, this was a lot longer than I thought it would be. And really fun too. I'm actually really, <clears throat> really excited to, to get into this game a little bit more. So we're gonna exit out of this back to the main menu. Anyways, that's just a little bit of taste of Age of Wonders 3 with the expansion. Definitely gonna try out the, what's it called? The elven one, this one here first because it's supposed to be a lot easier. Oh no, it started us back where we were. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. But anyways, if you guys wanna check this out, I'll leave everything you need down below in the description. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode.